Hello everyone, welcome to this third body DIY tutorial. Today we're setting electronics and motors. Servo motors, so it's really easy. The nuts are already inserted in the metal parts, so we just have to screw the servo motor as shown. Just pay attention to the servo's orientation, it has to be oriented like this. Same for the blue servo, make sure it's well oriented, insert it and just screw. Make the wire go through this plastic collar so that it won't touch the wheels. Motors, everything you need is on screen, so first you need to put them onto the motorboard. Please make sure you put the right motor at the right place because there's a right motor and a left motor. Time to properly insert the motors, so put 4 screws and 4 rubber washers and insert it like that. At the bottom, rubber washer, metal o-ring and stop nut. It's very important that you do not screw too tight. The washers are here to absorb the motor's pressure. From this perspective, you can see the order. Rubber, metal o-ring and nut. Now clip your file room into the frame. With this metal piece, you attach the frame and the fire room with each other, as shown. This is Baddy's power button, you just have to clip it in this hole. Well, it has a more specific version for your PCB. If you have the shield version, you have to continue doing this. So take the late square. Plug those little wire on the pin headers and you have to bend the headers. And then the next step is to attach it to the front panel in metal as shown. So put the two screws followed by the two spacers to the other side of the panel. Then you can put your LED square using the dedicated holes. Because you have nil stop nuts here, you need to use a pair of pliers plus a screwdriver. PCB wiring. Well, this is how the V2 PCB shield version looks like. Start with wiring the power connectors. Make sure the three black wires, which are the ground wires, are located to the left followed by the three red wires. Make sure you have this order respected, otherwise you're gonna damage your PCB and completely burn your electronics. So please double check, make sure the wires are tightened enough by the screws. Once you're happy with the wiring, you can go to the next step by mounting your PCB on your frame. To take the two dedicated screws, pass it through the holes as shown here on the frame, maintain the screw with, uh, with your fingers and then you can again put some spacers followed by your PCB. Take the new stop nuts to that will maintain the PCB attached with the frame. Again, you need to take a pair of pliers and a screwdriver to um, tighten everything. So, stowing the wires is an important step. You have a wire dedicated to ESC left, so put it this way. Another wire dedicated to ESC right. Whether ESC 1 or 2 is not important, they are the same power connector. You have one wire like this for the battery, put it that way. 
the remaining wire with a path connector shall be also put that way. All right, time to plug everything. Let's start with the left ESC. Plug the power connector and stow the wire using the collars, plastic collar provided with your PCB. So stowing the wire allows to prevent the wire touching the wheels that will turn. Then you have to plug the pin header following the color code. So battery. Take the orientation that I'm using here in this tutorial. Easy, especially with this connector. You should pass the charging connector through the dedicated hole into the frame. Use a collar to maintain the wire as shown here. Right ESC. So what we're doing here is uh, this time we put the ESC, which is the electronic card that is linked with your motor. We are putting it internally here inside the motherboard, but we are putting it on the left because we will need to insert the front panel afterwards. So once done, you just have to plug the common connector followed by the power connector as shown. Okay, we'll tidy up everything afterwards. Now's the time to plug the power connector as well. On the switch, so take the pods on the battery wires. First one here, second one. You plug that directly on the switch so you notice that we will connect the battery at the end. The reason why we do this is that not connecting the battery before enable us to perform the wiring operation um, in a safe manner. If you don't have battery connected, you can do whatever you want in a safe manner. So now that we've checked that everything is correct, we can plug the battery. As usual, you can use the plastic collars to tidy up and stow the wires. We want to keep a low level for the wires to prevent them to touch the turning wheels. Time to plug the servo motors. You can hide the switch servo motor wire using the PCB as shown. And then you just have to plug it on the dedicated pin header. Make sure you follow the color code. So brown color stands for ground and yellow color stands for signal or command. Same thing with the retainer. You can plug it this way. Follow the color code as well. It's indicated on the PCB. So give it a last visual check and you can go to the front panel. Right, what you have to do there is first slide the LED square wires under the battery. Make sure you are not disconnecting anything. So once you check everything is okay, you just have to insert the front panel. Easy. Yeah, the ESC shall be maintained to the left so that you can insert the panel easily. Make sure it is clipped with a frame. Here you see. Alright, once done you just have to put the screws into the dedicated holes and then plug the common wires into the dedicated pin headers. Follow the color code please. Alright, time to switch battery on. You shall see a smiley and hear four beeps. If you succeed to have the beeps and the smiley, it's Great, you can go to the next steps. If not, recheck your wiring. Congratulations, let's go to the next step. 